So this is an interesting uh, issue of rotating data or transposing it that I saw from a tweet uh, from Mr. Excel, Bill Jelen. So it took me back to his website, his free Excel form where you can ask questions and people will respond and give you potential solutions. So click this link and uh, we'll just take a quick peek here. And here's the original uh, problem challenge that someone posted. And then you get all these different solutions and these are all VBA, so macros. And they're very, very impressive. You have some legends of the online Excel community, uh, especially this guy here, Rick. He's got almost 23,000 posts in here. Uh, so it's just really an amazing, and he has his own site as well. Uh, who knows how many more posts, but so many great things you can learn here on uh, Mr. Excel form. And it is free to sign up. So you really should just invest in this. MrExcel.com, go to the forum. You, you create a password and a username, log in. You can read these things. You can make them favorites. You can ask questions. It is really worth the time. So in this video, um, I'm going to show you a possible formula-based solution to taking the data like this and sort of reworking it so that rearranging it so it looks like this because we have uh, four letters in one cell and you really shouldn't have that. It should just be one letter like over here. So we have to determine how many times to repeat this code. We know it's four times because we have four letters. So we have four of them here. Um, and then the second one is twice. The third one is once, one letter. The fourth one is four letters. Looks like this. So this is what we're going to do. And let's walk through these steps. So I'm going to expand this and we are expecting 11 rows of data. Take a look at this formula later. It is an array formula that, con that, that requires control shift enter. But um, let's look at step number one. Step number one is what I was just mentioning. We have to determine how many times to repeat this code. Well, it's because we have four letters. So here we have a four. Here we have a two, of course, a one. There's only one letter here and a four at the end because we have four letters there. So I'll let you go in here and um, figure out how this works because Sometimes it's good to not have someone explain every little detail, jump in there and see how this whole thing works. If you have a question, you can always send me an email or put a comment below the video. So here we have step number two. We have a growing total, right? So I'm saying four and two. Um, that's oh, OK. It starts like this. We put a zero first. Then we have a four because four and the zero. The six is saying I want to take uh, add the two and the four, and it keeps growing all the way down. Here at seven, that's simply saying six and one, all the way down until we get our 11 records. So I'll explain that in just one minute, but it's a couple steps away. Step three, just a simple counter to go all the way down. Uh, I extended it a bit longer than we actually need. And now step four is the closest match. This is that rare case where you want to know, all right, well, where where am I in here? Like we. Uh, how many times do I have to repeat this one? So we, we, we look in here and we determine if it's 0, 1, 2, or 3, well, that's the first one. We're repeating this 0, 0, 0, 1 four times. So that's the first one in there. Now we have the second one because the 0, 0, 0, 2 is the second code in here. So that's why we have two twos. We have one three. That's the third one. And then we have four fours because of this one here. So this is, once again, the rare time that we would ever, uh, we almost always put a zero or a false to say exact match, but we know we're not going to find a five in here. We're not going to find a, a lot of these, a seven, or a seven is there, but an eight or a nine or a 10. So we're basically just using this to repeat four, four of them and then two of them, what we have here, right? We have one and then we have four again. So now let's go to the next step. Now we want to repeat the code. All right, this original code here, and this is pretty simple. We're just indexing. Think of index as pulling your answer. From here, what do we want? Well, we want the first one. And then we want the first one again, the first one a third time, and the, the first one a fourth time. Now we're switching. We want the second one, the second one again, because we have the two letters in there. And so that's how this works. Now down here, we only need 11 in total. So if we were to go like this and highlight it, that is 11 of them. So this step five repeats the code. Notice how it's the same color here as we have here. All right, step six is now pulling out those letters. Now this, there's many ways to do it, but the way I did it was just to sort of uh, get them all in there. For each set, we have these four letters. It's the same thing, right? Here we have the, this, the two here. 
there is probably about five or six or seven different ways to do this. But I'm just taking, repeating it with taking out the semicolons. So now, of course, that goes into step seven. Step seven is saying, well, which one of these do I want? The first time I want letter number one, which is A. Letter number two, which is B. Uh, three within here, which is the C, and then the last one, four. So we get to the next group. I want the of the A B. I want the A, the first one, and then I want the second one, the B. So you kind of see how that works. And finally, the last step. Uh, actually, I should have made this the color over here. But anyways, um, now we simply have it like this, which is exactly what we have over here. Uh, so this is our our final step. Uh, we have the letter. Let me just pause the video and fix this. Okay, so so finally we have the same color here. We have, let's just make this green. And um, we have the codes repeating as necessary. We have these letters repeating as necessary. And now, you know, if you had all the other fields that you might have in a data set, region, sales, all those kind of things, you could pivot the data because everything is vertical now.